Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome member of the Executive Board Research and Development, Porsche AG, Wolfgang Hatz. Welcome to Porsche, ladies and gentlemen. The new 911, an evolution in design and a revolution in technology. With sales of nearly 900,000 units, the Porsche 911 is not only one of the best-selling sports cars of all times, it is rightly considered the benchmark in its segment. It is the pure embodiment of the sport, sports car genes that you have, we have in all of our models, and that's been the case for more than 50 years. Its exclusiveness has not suffered from that. 911s from all different years achieve top prices at all classic car auctions for many reasons, but one of them is that they're just as fascinating as they are suitable for everyday driving, and this success can be explained easily, but copied with great difficulty only. We have always called into question our 911 from one generation to the next, and we don't have any sacred cows at Porsche, because what's most important is how a Porsche drives and not what means of propulsion it has. And of course, each and every generation has to be the best 911 of all times, even if we have to go beyond ourselves in terms of technology. So the good news, therefore, is that this time, once again, we're breaking with a tradition and going back to a different tradition that's just as tried and tested. It's called Turbo. The first 911 Turbo was launched in 1974 and redefined sportiness, spurred on by transfer from motorsport technology. And the 911 Carrera will, from immediate, as of immediately, have Porsche turbo engines. And this is the case for one simple reason, more driving dynamics and lower fuel consumption. The new bi-turbo engine has three liters of uh, cubic capacity and kicks out 370 horsepower in the 911 Carrera and 420 horsepower in the 911 Carrera S. But for our drivers, what's more important is that the entire torque of 450 or 500 newton meters is available starting at 1,700 RPMs. And nevertheless, the engine, as is typical of a sports car, revs up to 7,500 RPMs. 7.4 and 7.7 .7 liters of consumption in the new European driving cycle means that we have a reduction of consumption by about one liter or just under 12%. Ladies and gentlemen, what would the presentation of a new generation of a Porsche 911 be without giving you a lap time for the North Loop of Nürburgring? And here, too, we've got good news for you. We expect to achieve 7 minutes and 30 seconds, which would be about 8 seconds faster than the predecessor model. The new infotainment system with real-time traffic information and better connectivity, on the other hand, accelerates your everyday laps. As standard in all 911 models, and it's especially ergonomic, so that Porsche drivers can really concentrate on what's most important, pure Porsche driving dynamics. The only thing we have never called into question in the more than 50 years of 911 history. Thank you for your attention. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chairman of the Porsche AG, Matthias Müller. Ladies and gentlemen, what makes an electric vehicle into an e-Porsche? Well, the same thing that makes a 911 a 911. Performance, efficiency, and driving dynamics on the basis of revolutionary technology. This Porsche Mission E 
is a concept car for a purely electric four-seater, fully everyday usable sports car. It demonstrates how we feel an electric sports car must be like that deserves the name Porsche, that stands in the best tradition of tolerating no to compromise between sportiness and everyday usability, something that our customers have grown used to expecting of a Porsche for 50 years, but electrically driven. It starts with the most important connectivity in any car, the grip, the road holding. This concerns driving performance, not just for a demo round or taking off at a traffic light, but for our classic domain, the long haul, long distance driving, and that includes revolutionary user interfaces with gesture, hand gesture operation, the intuition of the driver. It's truly intuitive. Man and machine form a unit seamlessly, a dovetailing driving dynamic unit. An e-Porsche will come with 600 horsepower and accelerate under three and a half seconds and crack 100 and that time at under 12 seconds it will crack the 200 kilometers per hour. Top speed will be beyond 250 kilometers per hour and the range will be at round about 500 kilometers. Driving in a very sporty manner. Please note that when stopping to refuel or to refill because of the revolutionary 800 volt engineering will not take you more than 15 minutes because that will be offer you 80% of the range for the next sporty lap. Porsche, again, will make headway with fast pit stops. The racing line to victory is the perfect dovetailing of man-machine and the track and the road and is the result of efficiency and perfect working conditions for drivers. Without the revolutionary engineering of our Le Mans winner car 919 hybrid, the Mission E would be difficult to imagine. And without the knowledge gleaned from the 918 Spider super sports car, the 919 hybrid, wouldn't have been able to be developed so quickly. If you thought that a Porsche was designed, uh, was defined by the body or package concept, the type of engine or the displacement, you've always uh, been wrong if you thought that. That as a first manufacturer worldwide, we offered three plug-in hybrids as production vehicles is not a green fig leaf for product range model lineup. It's uh, illustrative of the typical Porsche philosophy with new means, which is why we'll build a purely electric sports car, because there is no electric sports car yet that deserves the name Porsche. Thank you.